Okay, in this video, we're going to update the live mod firmware. We will be using this file to download the image. So what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to make sure our glasses are connected to its power source. And the live mod, as you can see here, is connected to the left arm of the glasses. And we're going to try and connect this uh, the glasses up to our local host PC. The way we do that is we hit the on button. You'll see a green flashing light on the right side of the glasses. Just above the right lens. When that becomes solid, it's ready to be an access point. Well, it, and then we will be able to connect to our laptop, which will be the PC host, when it's completed that. Now we have a solid light and a blue light. We should be able to look under our wireless connections, and live mod does show up. I'm going to go ahead and connect. It's connecting. Okay, now we are connected to the live mod. And in order to update the firmware, we need to go to a browser. And it'll bring us to this browser page. And this is our current firmware. We're going to upgrade our firmware by clicking on select file. And we're going to find that firmware upgrade file again. Select the bin file for the live mod, say open. And then click on upload firmware file. You'll see a percentage progress bar. And you'll have a countdown, so you have to wait until this goes to zero before you can use your live mod. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and update my Pivothead PC software, PC application. And it'll be in the form of Pivothead Win INS and then a, a version number. Go ahead and select the installation. Pick your setup language. It says it's already installed. Go ahead and update it. Say next. You want to install to the folder. Go ahead and say next. And we want to create a desktop shortcut. Install. We're not going to launch the Pivot Head desktop just yet. We're going to go back to our browser. So that's basically it. We should be able to confirm their green and blue LEDs on the uh, right side are solid, which we do confirm. And uh, let's go ahead and run the Pivot Head desktop. Go ahead and reconnect the live mod, and we'll wait for the glasses to boot up in access point mode again. Okay, and then after the connection, the access point connection, we are ready to stream once again. And you'll see uh, we have the latest firmware. We have a May 12th firmware. Glasses have been updated. We can go to settings, stream directory, making sure our auto detect again is on. 
our auto record is on and uh, we should be able to swipe the glasses to start a stream swipe the glasses backwards here I did the swipe on the glasses uh, I'm starting a stream and we're good to go